Hey Aquarius, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a quick reading for all Aquarius placements, okay? So Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node. It really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as an Aquarius, then this reading is for you, all right? Aquarius, let us go ahead, jump straight into the reading. Let us see what the message is here that Spirit has for you. We have intimacy, okay, really interesting, okay? Something coming out about intimacy here, okay? We also have lead them right where they are, really interesting. <laughs> A really interesting combination, <laughs> all right? And doing the bare minimum. So somebody probably wants to be intimate with you, but they're doing the bare minimum. So it is like leave them right where they are. Somebody that genuinely deserves you or, you know, whatever the case may be, they're going to come through. They could just be doing the bare minimum because of money concerns. But regardless to what spirit is like, look, mm -mm. leave them right where they're at. You get what I'm saying? Because if a person was really interested, I feel like they would keep you in the loop as to what's going on or whatever the case may be. Now, granted, they don't have to in include you in every little detail of their life or tell you all, all, all the nitty gritty. You get what I'm saying? But doing the bare minimum and just thinking it's okay or thinking someone's going to be intimate with you or anything like that. Just like, for what? What have you done to earn that, to deserve that? And look how you're showing up as an empress, pre-shuffle. Why would you possibly do that? So, yeah, we have the hangman here. Okay. Mm -mm. You're not putting in no type of time. You're not. Mm -mm. All right, let us see. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. We have the Ace of Swords. So, yeah, you have clarity on something. Okay. Maybe at first it was difficult to trust your intuition about it, but now that whatever this is comes out, gets revealed, you're like, oh, I'm good on that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Tower. Okay. Sudden change. Could be a sudden change in how you feel. We have the Five of Pentacles. You reject this person, block them out. Somebody might be saying they love you. Could be a karmic, okay? But you feel like you don't want to invest into this person. You would much rather block them out, okay? They could also have karmic stuff going on, whichever way it goes. But, yeah, there's plenty that they're not telling you, all right? Lots of money concerns, maybe. Maybe debt, Okay. Um, could be here if this is not a karmic it took, this could be debt you guys like this person could really be in love with you for real showing up as the king of cups but they keep a lot of things to themselves this person could be going through debt you get what i'm saying or something like that we have the hangman here but once again like there's many things that you just don't know i feel like that plays a role in why you're wanting to block this person out all right the king of pentacles the world all right so Pretty much a wrap on that. That's what I'm seeing. Because of whatever situations they have going on, they're not sharing with you. Yes, they have like a lot of legal stuff going on that they're dealing with, that their money is tied up in. Okay, that's what I see. Honestly. All right, so let us see what this Ace of Swords. What is this? All right, the Six of Swords. All right, so now that you have this clarity you can move forward you can move on we have the four of wands here so really interesting like i said if it's not a karmic once again this could be now the 11 11 was there and i am a twin flame so twin flame readings usually follow me you know if this is somebody's divine counterpart they could be going through some sort of financial stuff you get what i'm saying due to legal things but let us see the high priestess All right, so something that you knew gets revealed to you, Six of Cups. But I, still, I don't know. This is like something from the past, you guys, that maybe slowed them down or stopped them from doing something here. Something that would have made you happy. But I thought you didn't know that, okay? You didn't know that, so you decided to block the person out, reject the person, abandon them or something like that. <laughs> In the cycle, you're like, I'm good, I'm good on that. We have the page of swords. Remember, let's not forget doing the bare minimum. So somebody could have also been doing the bare minimum. Let's not forget, right? So regardless to what, this person could now be telling you the news, page of swords, like sharing this information with you and asking for your forgiveness here. You get what I'm saying? Okay. To try to re-strengthen the bond or rebuild the bond. But once again, you guys feel like they're doing the bare minimum. They're not doing much. So you're like, I'm just going to go ahead and move forward. 
Okay, that's what you feel. We have the hangman here. Okay. This person is very, very, um, like I said, they, they might love you a lot, but the King of Cups is quiet about it. They don't say it. So you guys are deciding to have a brand new beginning. You get what I'm saying? You feel like that will be the wise thing to do here to move forward because of the vibration that you're on. You just don't, you like, especially if the person can't be honest with me, they can't be direct. Let's go move on. Yeah. Yeah. So if this is happening suddenly, you get what I'm saying? Queen of Swords is the underlining. Yeah. A sudden change. You suddenly have this change of heart. Change, you know what I mean? Or something like that. Like, I'm just going to move forward because they have whatever they have going on and I'm good on that. All right. That's what I see here. You like, too, some of you are very intuitive. So you intuitively know they got stuff going on they're not sharing with you. But that makes it worse for you because this person wants to be intimate, but they're not sharing intimate details of their life. You get what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Somebody make it make sense. Let us, <laughs> let us see what we have here. Now, this could have something to do with that spread or could be completely different. All right. Messages for our Aquarians. Thank you, spirits. For the messages. All right, we have abundance, meditation brings answers, big happy changes, okay, so whatever they're going through might be temporary, but I still feel like it's going to be a no for you, yeah, and I think that's what it is, because my nose is itching like ain't nobody business, I feel like you have so much going on right now that you just can't focus on whatever they have going on, all right, so like I said, sudden change of heart, <laughs> But you're happy with it, even if they're not going to be, I guess. So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.